Now, amps. In Warframe, amps are extremely important. They are used for a few important things like Eidolon hunting, Thraxes, Angels, and so on. You will unlock your first amp when you get your operator after completing the War Within questline. After you complete the quest, you will get your first amp called the Moat. Now this thing is stinky. You, chuck it out, we don't, we don't need it. Your goal now is to get a better amp. But first, before we go any further, I need to explain the Holy Amp Table to you. You probably would have heard by now tenors in the community throwing around three numbers in weird combinations. Well, they are referring to the amp table. This is a really handy tool to have as you can just refer to this amp table when people tell you any amp combination. So use this, it is your best friend. Amps consist of three parts, the prism, scaffold and the brace. That's why it's always three numbers. The prisms control the main fire mode of amps, the scaffolds affect the alternate fire of amps, and the brace gives them a stat boost. Generally, the Lauren and Surtis brace are the best because of its increased critical strike chance. The first four columns are amp parts that are obtained through Onko on Cetus, while the last three columns are amp parts that are obtained through Little Duck on Fortuna. Both of these factions are tough to farm for, but Onko you will need to farm Eidolons to max them out, Whereas for Little Duck, you will need to max out for Tuna Standing and then gain access to Little Duck and upgrade your Syndicate with Toroids. On that note, when you obtain amps, you will see in your Operator loadout that there are Amp Arcanes. In order for you to unlock your first amp slot, you will need to level up your amp to level 30 and then guild your amp. This will unlock the first amp arcane slot. Now, in order for you to get your second slot, you will need to max rank the Zaramon and get the Amp Arcane Adapter from Cavalera. We will talk about Amp Arcanes later on in the video, so stick around towards the end. So what Amp should you get if you are a beginner? You want to get the 123. The 123 consists of the Raflak Prism and the Shraxan Scaffold, and Lauren Brace. The Raflak is a semi-auto prism that shoots out a very accurate beam. It does a decent amount of damage, being the first prism on the list. The Shraxan Scaffold shoots out a grenade that explodes on impact and does decent AoE damage, although it does explode quite close to you. The Lauren Brace is an easy extra critical strike chance and status chance. This is the first amp I would recommend for those of you who have the Moat amp and want to get a better one. But I will say any amp is better than the Moat amp so even if you let's say build the 111, it will be better. Use whatever you can to farm Eidolons better so you can upgrade your amps faster. Remember it is important for you to guild your amps after you have built them and level them up in order for you to get mastery points from them and unlock an arcane slot. The 123 is my recommendation for early to mid game content when it comes to amps until you unlock Little Duck and gain access to the 7 column on the amp table. Now let's go into some amp recommendations that will carry you throughout the entire game. The first on this list is the 177. The 177 has always reigned the king of amps for the longest time, and honestly I thought that it was too, but I was wrong. There are actually better options out there, however, the 177 still reigns king when it comes to Eidolon hunts. The 177 consists of the Raflak Prism, Proper Scaffold, and the Certus Brace. The Raflak is a single fire beam that does a lot of damage in one go. The proper scaffold shoots out a grenade that moves slowly out and explodes after a short duration. This is really helpful when it comes to Eidolons because you can basically time one-shotting the limbs as fast as possible, allowing you to do six by threes. Although this is not the be or or end or, it's just that it's very good when it comes to Eidolon hunting. It also can be used for everyday content. It's always been good. It's a staple. You can't go wrong with the 177. The next one on this list is the 777. It's a very similar one to the 177. All that's changed is the primary fire, which is now the Clamora Prism. This is a basically a beam flamethrower thing. Its rapid fire is nice for good DPS. It's a good alternative if you don't like the slow fire rate from the 177, but it doesn't do as much outright damage as the 177. It's more of like a little slow burner type of thing. Now let's move on to the next one, which is my new favorite amp to use at the moment, and that is the 547. The 547 consists of the Cantic Prism, the Fard Scaffold, and the Certus Brace. Just want to make a quick disclaimer here, the Certus Brace is pretty much the way for any amp combination you want to build. Even if you build another combo I have not recommended, the Certus Brace has a flat 20% critical strike chance, which is just too OP to pass by. The Cantic Prism is a burst fire amp for your primary mode. Its DPS is insanely good when you start adding the right amp arcanes as you progress, and it has quite a fast fire rate. The Fard Scaffold is by far my favorite secondary fire for amps. You shoot out a glaive that bounces between enemies, but if you proc your Void Bubble, which is what every amp has a chance of proccing, 
The glaive gets stuck in the bubble and spins around damaging the enemy multiple times, pretty much always guaranteeing a kill. Also, if you pair it with Madurai and use the right arcanes, you can do an insane amount of damage with the glaive. Do you also want to know why I love the far scaffold a lot? That's why. The 547 for general use has to be the best, in my opinion. The next combination is the 147. This amp consists of the Raplak Prism, Fard Scaffold, and Certus Brace. This combination is if you like the fire mode of the Raplak instead. Another combination you can use is the 527. This is making use of the Cantic Prism, the Shraxen Scaffold, and the Certus Brace. This isn't the worst one, but it's also not the best one. It's just a decent one if you like the Shraxen Scaffold. If you could hit that like button on this video, it really helps me out. Thank you so much. So the main thing to take away from this video regarding amps is for general use, 547 is my go-to and for Eidolon hunting, 177 is still the best. But I will say though, just because I recommended these combinations, it does not mean you need to follow them exactly. It is your game after all, and you can use whatever combination you see fit. Just have fun with the combinations. That's the fun thing about amps. You can build so many different weird and wonderful combinations. I have found that any amp combo generally works if you have the right arcanes. I would suggest going for the Sotus Brace because of that juicy crit. It will basically make any amp work. And that's the important bits to know. Now, we are not done yet. Arcanes. Arcanes genuinely make or break your amps and they are extremely important. There are two amp arcanes that I pretty much permanently run. Eternal Onslaught and Eternal Eradicate. Eternal Onslaught gives you 180% critical strike chance when your operator energy is depleted. This is mainly used for idle and hunts, but it can be used for those times where you have a second or two to quickly drain your operator's energy by spamming a few abilities or void stinging and then proccing the buff. This gives you a huge damage boost as you pretty much get guaranteed orange crits with your amp and just allows you to do a lot more damage. I will say this arcane is heavily situation based. For the most part, you don't actually use this arcane, so this one is flexible if you would like. Eternal Eradicate, on the other hand, personally, is a must have. When you cast an operator ability, you gain flat 60% extra damage to amps for 8 seconds. You can't go wrong with it, it's just really, really good to have. I would recommend running Eternal Eradicate first, and then when you get your Amp Arcane Adapter, you put on Eternal Onslaught or any other Arcane you see fit. Hi there, Future Flow here. I realized I only really showed late game Arcane, so for those of you who are beginners and have just unlocked Amps, you can use whatever you have available like Virtuous Strike or Virtuous Shadow, but ultimately you want to be working toward Eternal Eradicate and Eternal Onslaught. Do you think I'm done? I'm not going to leave you with just that. Let's talk about Operator Arcanes. Now this this is a little bit of a hot topic. I personally run Magus Lockdown. Magus Lockdown is my favorite oh shit button in Warframe. When you void sling, you will tether 10 enemies in a 15 meter radius. If you ever find yourself in a pinch, simply hopping into your operator and panic spamming void sling will crowd control most nearby enemies, allowing you to kill a group of enemies with ease. I usually also run Magus Repair. When in void mode, you heal your Warframe and allies within 30 meters for 25% of their health per second. So this pairs extremely well with Magus Lockdown because as you void sing, you'll be healing yourself as you're just spamming quickly. However, some people use Magus Elevate. Point is, with Operator Arcanes, just use whatever tickles your fancy. I'm just suggesting what I use. Just some tips and tricks when it comes to amps. Amps follow the same headshot mechanics as weapons do, so keep this in mind when dealing with Thraxes or any other target you see fit to use your amp against. Amp's damage is heavily reliant on the focus schools you use and your waybounds as well. Waybounds make a huge difference in the amount of ammo pool you have and just general operator quality of life. I would highly suggest farming Eidolons to max out your waybounds as fast as possible, but if you want a suggestion for a more offensive approach, Madurai is the best because of a contamination wave, making enemies 50% more vulnerable to operator damage as well as Void Strike making you do stupid amounts of damage when it comes to this ability. Then you have Unaru with Caustic Strike stripping enemy armor meaning more amp damage and you also have Unaru Wisp which would increase our amp damage significantly. And that pretty much concludes the video. Amps are incredibly important but they are also super painful to grind. But they are worth it as you will be needing them as you progress through the game because there are certain things that require you to have amps to progress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. A huge thank you to all of our channel members who support the channel. I cannot thank you enough. For those of you that like Yoreli, I have just made a Yoreli, guys. So if you want to go and check that out, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. And don't forget, I have a variety channel. Bye, 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 bye.